Today we are doing a quick overview of Phoenix OS and we are running it on a Surface Pro 1. Yes, hello, welcome. Welcome back guys to another tech video with Human and Sutan. Wow, we have grown so much together. We have grown so much as a tech family here on YouTube. So please do not forget to subscribe so we can grow this channel even more. So why I'm not using a screen record on this video is due to Phoenix OS does not support any screen recorders on the Play Store. I've installed four of them and no one works because they have to run in the background and Phoenix OS does not support this type of screen recording. So this OS is very inspired by Windows 10 in my opinion. On the right bottom corner here you have your Wi-Fi, you have your location and settings and your notification center. You have the clock and on the top left corner you have your cycle bin and you have your my computer tab here. And in the left bottom corner you have your pinned apps and you have all your apps here in the app drawer. So you can open up your apps like the calculator and it open up in a small window and you can drag it to the side and you can maximize it and you can minimize and you can just turn it off. And you can also resize your apps. So if you open up the calculator here, we can resize this app in our desired size. Let's look at the settings of the OS. We can go to settings here. And this is the default settings look. It's the Phoenix OS look of the settings. And it's some times here. But you can also hit that button there and you can get the normal Android look of the settings here. Let's check out some apps. Let's go into Chrome here. And it opens up in a small window, but we just have to maximize this. And then we can search for the Telegraph. And just go into the Telegraph and loads up and we can read our newspaper on our tablet. Wow, what a feeling. So it's time to test YouTube here. We open up YouTube and we can search for a 4K HDR video. And we open this, Costa Rica. And as you can see, it only supports 720p. Phoenix OS does not support 1080p or 4K. But we can watch our videos in 720p and we can access them in full screen. And we can fast forward the video without a problem. But a downside here is we cannot see any related videos in a good way and the comments. We cannot see this. So that's a really big problem you can only see one comment at a time so it's time to check out the camera of phoenix os so we just open up the camera app here it was the wrong button there we open up the camera and you can see myself and sutan here and we can also check out the rear camera there and we can see our kitchen so it works perfectly you can take pictures and record videos without a problem Okay, so now we have PUBG loaded up here and as you can see it works. But one thing you should have in mind when installing Phoenix OS is that PUBG detects this as an emulated version of the software. And you can only play with players that are playing on an emulated version of the app. And as you can see on the screen there is a keyboard mapper and me and Sutan weren't able to remove this. I have no idea how to do it. And the keyboard mapper, it's excellent when you're playing with a gamepad or a keyboard. So you can play with your desired controller. But we see that PUBG is running here. And as you can see, I have everything on low settings because I am not running this on a powerful computer this is the surface pro one but if you have a power horse a beast computer you can run this software on the highest settings it works 
uh, but you can see here my frame rate isn't the best and the details aren't the best but it runs and does the job now I'm here down and I can run the app and I play PUBG and it runs perfect on Phoenix OS. For all you heavy Netflix users to have in mind before installing Phoenix OS, you should know that Netflix does not support this OS here. If you search for Netflix on Play Store, you will not find it. It does not support Phoenix OS. Wow, what an amazing system here, Phoenix OS, I really vibe with this system and this design of uh, OS. As I said previously, it really reminded me of Windows 10, it was an Android version of that for me yeah, and it was so stunning and beautiful. Some minor nitpicks that we encounter, but it's overall I think it's a stable OS and I want you to test it out for yourself. Like this video to show us some support and so we can show YouTube what an amazing tech family we are. And do not forget to share this video with all of your friends and family that love Android and are interested in Android on a PC. And do not forget to comment if you have any questions. So me and Sutan will gladly help you with all of your questions. And do not forget the notification bell so you can get notified of our recent uploads and the most important thing of them all do not forget to subscribe to human and suit and team so we can grow together and get better and remember this is human and suit